What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into the twerk. What's going on, brother? Why these two men appeared in battle rap talking about how they beat your damn face in? <laughs> why these, why these, and why both them saying they whooped you in front of your woman? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, how you, hold on, man. What the hell is going on, brother? You just was making fun of Piranha, talking about how scary he is and how he didn't want no trouble and he running everywhere and ain't nobody never do you like that and ain't nobody never touched you. You forgot <laughs> you popular in the community. You on television. So it's two dudes on television daring you to challenge them, saying they both beat the brakes off, talking about they pap pooched you and and it's <laughs> pap pooched you and made you equal with easy to block. You know they saying that about you? Do <laughs> you know they saying that about you? <laughs> we need you to look alive. Eyes wide open. <laughs> we need you to look alive. You there? Did you watch did you watch them men? Did you did you watch them men? It's two men. Two little dudes, like little than you. Two little, <laughs> two little homies. Each saying they got a hundred percent proof. <laughs> they, they easy to block. They easy to block you. <laughs> like what's going on? Why, why you act like you don't see what's going on? Why you act like you don't know? <laughs> They said they whooped you in front of your baby mama. Both of them. Like, how you keep getting... I don't know, man. That woman might not be good for you. You keep getting... Bad things keep happening with y'all. The one little dude, man... The one little dude, man, said he whooped you and you was noodled. He said you dropped... Your leg dropped like noodle. Like oriental soup. <laughs> I'm, don't act like you ain't here. Hell. I'm not saying nothing you ain't heard. You heard this. You didn't only hear it. You said, is it true? <laughs> the other dude said he whooped you in front of your baby mama. So you got whooped twice in front of your baby mama. I get it. That's why. Okay, I get it. Now I see why Norbs got it the worst. You wasn't going to lose that time in front of her. He's already down 0-2. So, so what's, the, what's the score now? Uh, One and two. You had three fights in front of your damn baby mama. <laughs> you won two. No, you uh, uh, allegedly you lost two. They... Them, they said the fights don't even be fights. They apparently you got fighted. Apparently you got fighted. You got fighted and both times they said you got fighted. Like it wasn't no feedback. It wasn't a give or take. It wasn't no squaring up. It wasn't no swinging. They apparently they said <laughs> we. Yeah. He, they strapped you in. They 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 put you night night. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Night night, good night. <laughs> Man, you too damn big to be letting them little men and them hit on you like that. Like, come on, man. You feeding us this tough guy act. You sitting up here wrestling and why and throwing them around. You sitting up here. You let Rum Nitty choke you. <laughs> that little man. That little man jumped on you and choked you, <laughs> choked you out the damn event. <laughs> I 
I saw that with my own eyes. I can't vouch for the other two ass whoopings. But I saw two. I saw two. I saw two. I saw you work twice. I saw you work twice. You one for one for what I saw. You got the best of norms. I saw that one. <laughs> Did him dirty. I think you might have hurt your leg. You kicked that damn rocky meat. You kick, you kick that damn Rocky meat. You know, Noah's body looked like the Rocky meat that Rocky was punching in Rocky in the deep freezer. You you heard your leg kicking that damn Rocky meat. <laughs> so I saw that. You won that one. I'm going to give you that one. You won that one. Rum Nitty choked you out the damn man. <laughs> that man was too little to reach up there and grab your damn neck. Like... He little, that man, that man little, like Napoleon, that man, Ant-Man, you let him hop to your damn knee, to hop to your knee, to your shoulder, and wrap his hands around your damn throat. <laughs> I saw that. You got choked in the venue. Is that a fight? Could we consider that a fight? I'm just going to say you got choked. <laughs> You got choked out. That looked stupid. It looked like some damn David and Goliath stuff. That man, like, what rum nitty? Five? 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 What? I, I can't go no higher than five. He's five or four foot nine. He's five or four foot nine or ten or something. I ain't going no higher than five feet even. He's five feet even. He. Shorter than women. <laughs> He's shorter than the average height of a damn woman. And somehow found a way to rest his damn hand on your throat. <laughs> I saw that. So you won one. But two little, two other little men. Some man named after, he named after a sex drink. What's that man name? He named out the sex drink. His name is Spanish Fly. What's his name? Spanish Fly? Exotic Taste? What's his name? Uh, peaches and Herbs? What, what's the man name? The, the man name who said he... Rocked him in front of damn <laughs> baby mama. What's his name? He, he's he was going at P one time on the URL. You remember he went at P, said P wanted him to dress like a homosexual, wanted him to do his hair good, and wanted him to dress like J2 and wanted him to switch and walk down the damn runway like a fashion model, like was he put supposed to have been putting a lawsuit on him for sexual harassment like he was trying to check him out or something. You remember that dude? Remember he came out on P talking about P tried to make get him into all that type of stuff? Like, yeah, them dudes be on some freaky stuff. Like, them dudes be on them dudes on be on the real, they be on a real too short. These are the tale, the freaky tales. These are the tales that I tell so well. These are the tales, the freaky tales. These are the tales that he tells so well. I met this guy named Fanish Fly. <laughs> That's what P, that P be rapping. <laughs> yeah, the dude, him. The, he named out the sex drink. I know the dude. Uh, what's the dude's name? No, oh, no, no, no. It's Spanish Harlem. Or exotic Harlem. It's some fruity, freaky stuff. Something like him. Said he rocked them. <laughs> I want to rock with you all night. Put him to all night. I want to rock with you. Rock. <laughs> and then another man I don't know what this man is I never seen this man before I never seen him on the blog I never seen him in the comments he did four five 
DNA tooth videos threatening you, daring you, wanting to shoot another fade, another fade, another cut, another cut, like the damn seatbelt is stuck. See, he <laughs> said he whooped you in front of your baby mama. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just reporting what. I, hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just reporting what the hell they said about you. What you got to say about that? What you got to say? You are gonna lose a lot of fights. I'm gonna keep it real. You're gonna, your head too damn big. You are gonna lose a lot of fights. A blind man couldn't miss that damn head. Boy, your damn head is. Your damn head look like the juggernaut with his damn helmet off. Your head, your damn head look like, <laughs> your damn head look like Jason Meyer, Jason Voorhees with the damn mask off. Your damn head look, <laughs> your damn head look science project. You're going you gonna to lose a lot of fights. If you don't get yours first and put them away, if you don't pop off first, you can't go the distance with nobody with that damn head. That damn head is a satellite. I'm, I'm that, and it got a lot of nut. It got a lot of lumps in it. Like you fell down the steps. <laughs> you took your damn hood off in that verb battle. All I saw was mountains. It looked like a damn, a course. Beer bottle. <laughs> Yo, damn. I just saw mountains and mountains. You said, I stand over the body and you took off your hood. You had Warner. Acme Acre Warner Brother lumps on that damn, on that damn head. <laughs> You're going to lose a lot of fights. <laughs> you can't get some, you gonna need help. You gonna need some damn backup. You bet you need to start being more polite with people. You need to be polite. You need to be very nice and polite with people. You need to stop being in the middle of stuff. You it's a lot of damn blood in that head. I have your head been busted before? You it probably need to be bust. You probably it might be you might got a little head. It just you gotta probably poke it with a damn safety pin. Poke it with a damn safety pin and release some pressure out the damn thing. Like go to the damn blood bank. Let them let them sock it. Let them sock it with some damn holes. Like a <laughs> like a damn scuba diver <laughs> scuba diver outfits <laughs> let, let, let them drain your damn skull so your damn head can shrink normal your damn head your damn your damn head <laughs> it ain't right your damn <laughs> I believe them boys. Ain't nobody missing that damn head. It, it's, you, you can't miss that damn head. Hell, you can make a mistake and you can make a mistake and hit that damn head. You, how many times you got hit in the head on a mistake? Your damn head so big. Your damn head so big, they have to cut out the damn roof of the car. <laughs> yeah, the damn roof of the car. You got a damn Flintstone car. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got you got Fred Flintstone your damn car your damn car Flintstone <laughs> oh, oh, oh your damn head the damn pillow can't fit it <laughs> damn pillow can't fit it. You got, you got a damn hole in the headboard of the damn bedroom set. You got to lay your damn head on the windowsill. <laughs> you got to lay your damn head on the windowsill. A damn bird nest 
in the back of it. <laughs> Be more nice and polite. Yeah. You don't get in trouble. But if two men talking about they beat you up and you a little bit too quiet. You were very vocal and loud on the piranha thing. You got you brought the whole damn gang up. Not one of the gang, not one of the gangs addressing two two guys. Two one guy named one guy, what's his name? Dolo Revenge? One of the dudes named Dolo Revenge. What whoa, hold on, what's his name? Dolo Revenge? What was that dude's name? Dolo, hold on. I think I wrote. Oh, Dolo Dev. I wrote it down right here. Dolo Dev. Like, Dolo Dev. Like, like he beat you up Dolo and dare you to deny it. So he named his, he renamed himself after whooping your ass to explain what he did to you. He was Dolo by himself and dare you to deny it. That's him. The other guy, what's his name? Spanish Fly? No, his name Spanish Spanish Harlem. So apparently, <laughs> apparently he whooped your ass to the point. <laughs> somehow your language, your language got messed up. And it happened in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> And both of them said in front of your baby mama. You better not try to do. You better be nice to that damn lady. If that woman watched you get rocked in front of her <laughs> twice. <coughs> that's probably why you do a lot of cheating. You don't get no damn respect at home. Ain't no woman going to respect you watching you get your, <laughs> watching you get your ass rocked. <laughs> by two little men. <laughs> hey, you all in the house talking about, I look alive. I come alive. What? <laughs> like, boy, stop all that damn hollering in here, fool. Dolo dead. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Spanish fly. Do something to you. <laughs> But they trying to get you to respond. <laughs> it is what it is. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's in question. It's yours. <laughs>